be outside. How many tuners does it take to change out a camber arm? Anything for camber, anything to get this sitting right. What is up you guys? We are back yeah, 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 yeah. with another video. Today, working on the E46, you guys can already see it got a little dirty. Now, if you're planning to camber your E46, then this is the video for you. We're gonna be slapping some Megan racing lower control arms on the E46 M3, and hopefully we can achieve some decent fitment in the rear, and show you guys along the way how it's done, and the struggles you gotta face when working with these E46 platforms. The E46 in all its glory, this one, I believe, is um, SMG and 180 on the dash, aftermarket steering wheel, carbon trim, all the way through. All right, let them know. We outside. We outside with the 46 today. So what are we running on this? Negative what? Negative five? Quanto, Bernie? Five. 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 Negative five. Twenty. But you guys see it? The E46, the Santa Cruz uh, chapter lead, posted outside. I brought the jack stand. We about to get ready, get dirty, and start with this camber. We are under the E46 right now. The tuner himself right here. In order to get this lower control arm off, you actually have to lower the subframe, play around with the diff, because the bolt lands right behind the axle. And in order to do that, we have to drop the diff, get that out, and then we can get this lower control arm so we can replace it with some aftermarket uh megan racing megan racing uh control arms if you plan on doing camera for this car keep in mind this is a tedious job in order to get this job done you need a bmw specialist tap in how many tuners does it take to change out a camber arm take out a bolt <laughs> take out a bolt actually Six, eight, people. eight people we're still getting this job done anything for camber anything to get this sitting right you guys can see the wheels the esrs but we will be back shortly to give you guys a rundown E46 life. We finally got the two rear lower control arms off. The tuner himself, the professional camber guy right here, sponsored by Camber Gang. We're gonna take measurements, adjust the actual length of everything, make sure it's equal on both sides. This shit was a bitch. Damn, if you want an E46, think it twice. But. I got a Don't get a beamer is what Bernie is saying. Some things to note when taking out the bolts. You are going to have to remove the subframe bolts. We found that the easiest way was to have three people down there. One lifting this side of the diff while the other lowers this and pulling out the bolt. Vice versa on the driver's side but yeah, this is not a fun job. Alright, tuner the camber guide himself. We're getting there. So if you guys see it. Lower control arms are in. We are adjusting as we speak. You guys see right there. Truly a hassle to get these in. Not something I recommend doing on your own. If anything with the team. But we're gonna test fit a rim real quick. We are still outside. We are still outside after all this hard work. Wheels are on. We're gonna crawl under and try to get a flush fitment with the dial. By dialing in some camera, you see Chepa down there putting in that work. You see the positive camera on this end. Now we gotta go down, and dial that in. Slowly but surely, tucking in. Tuner, you approve or what? Or more? Needs more. More, more, more. Needs more. <laughs> Damn, now we're talking. Some true negative on this one. Front and rear. All right, so looking at it from the bottom, you can see the control arm right here. Like I said, these bolts are, oh man, I don't even want to get started on it, but you have to drop the subframe, the differential, and everything to get those bolts out because they only come out one way and it interferes with the axle and the differential. So, something to keep in mind, but you can see we have them in. They are on the right side or the passenger side is slightly adjusted. There's still some more adjustments to be made as well as the driver's side. Now, you want to leave this a bit loose just so you can play around and adjust it without much trouble. 
but get a large crescent wrench adjust this and we'll see how the camera ends up looking once adjusted to get an idea we're at negative four and we want I don't even know what we wanted. Bernie, ¿cuánto queríamos? Todo, todo. Todo, todo. Full sand, so negative 15. Final adjustments have been made. We're gonna lower one side, and then lower the other side. Chepe's uh -huh. got the left side. Dale. Dale. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, shit, qué vergüenza. Oh, 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 we are gonna have to lift up this side and do some adjustment. You guys see it? Damn. Yes, I see it from over there. You see it from there? And then what do you have to, what do you have to say about it? Fire. Yes. Damn. Hey. True fitment right here. Now we're talking. Some words, sir. Some words. This is a hollow fitment right now. Yes, sir. Damn. Y'all see it. All right, fitment check, fitment check. With the 20, let's see, let's see what it do. There we go. Tucked. Damn. That's tight. Y'all see that shit for show. Quick test run. We did have to take the spacers out just because it was rubbing way too much. We adjusted it slightly and current setup as of right now. Yes, a tuner. Forty-six in the making, y'all. Damn. Yeah. Oh, you hear it? Pit stop. Tuner approves. Well, there you guys have it. E46 with some camber. Megan Racing lower control arms, fully adjustable. We were able to install it. Definitely not an easy install. I would recommend you and some homies get together and get this job done, because by yourself, it's gonna be a hassle. If you can get it on a lift, even better. But we're closing out the night. If I can attach some rolling clips, I will. Es lo que no sé. It's kind of late, we're gonna grab some food, calling it a night. But like always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep it authentic, y'all. Till the next one. Peace.